What's going on guys? It's Nezzy and I'm back. And today we have two cars in front of us. To the left is the Traxxas Rustler two-wheel drive VXL. And to the right is the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 XL5. It's not mine. I do repair RC cars for people from time to time. And that's what I'll be doing today. So I just want to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two Rustlers. And uh, yeah. This one's got all the RPM upgrades in it, the front bumper, it's got these short horse wheels, they're pretty much brand new. Uh, this thing's a beast, it goes like 75 miles an hour. Like I said, this is just the brush version, as you can see it's got this, um, it's like the X-Max body clip. You just lift it up and slide it off. So, I went to Hobby Quarters and I bought this, it's missing the center drive shaft, it's got a couple broken shocks, I'm not going to worry about them, I'm just going to replace the center aluminum drive shaft so let's go ahead and do that so there it is under the hood uh, I just set it to lipo I just threw in my little EP it's like a five-year-old two cell pack I uh, should try it out but uh, it's got the 12 turn 550 motor it's got the XL5 brush DSC it can only take 2s but um it's got this little clip and as you can see, it's missing the center drive shaft, so that's what we're going to do. Let's, uh, I think it's broken off on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can uh, open that up and fit it in there. So it looks like to be able to get to this front piece, I'm going to have to remove this receiver box case. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I believe it's 2 or 2.5 millimeter. So, going to my little toolbox here. And let's see, I think I got a two right here. These hex drivers are awesome. Uh, I suggest getting a set. You can get them on Amazon for about 25 bucks, so I suggest getting yourself a pair or a set. So, I'm going to have to, I believe that's 1.5, but as you can see it in there, uh, the old set screw or grub screw, I'm going to have to remove that old broken piece, and I do have the new ones right here, front and the rear. So I've loosened it. It doesn't seem to want to come out of this hole. You have to like push it through the bottom somehow. So I'm going to figure out how to get that out. All right, I got it out. Now I've opened up that drive shaft and I'm going to open up them. So this bit would go in the front and this bit would go in the rear. All right, I couldn't get to it. So I had to take the four pieces off for the front chassis and I did slip it on there. So now I'm going to put the chassis back together and check out the other side. All right, chassis back together. I got the front piece on and now I'm going to see if I can fit it here. All right, I popped the rear piece on. I don't know what these are called, but it had the little set screw there and uh, now I'm just, I had to split the chassis again. Um, so I'm going to put the screws back in and see how she looks. All right, center drive shaft is in. All four tires spinning. You just uh, fasten this down. There it is. All snug in there. Good to go. Boom. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick upgrade video. Not gonna put that on. Of, I'm sorry, not upgrade. Actually it is an upgrade because this is the VXL center drive shaft. Uh, whereas this is the XL5. So it is an upgrade. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, leave comments, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode of Nezzy's RC. See you later guys.